Uh, just another quickie one. A lot of you was wanting to see the wax extruder. Um, it, I'm not sure what size pipe it is. I think it's three quarter inch NPT. But I, it was just an off cut piece that I had, and I think I used the extra for the um, air spindle for the tone gutter grinder. It is. 10 and 3 quarters inches long doesn't really matter but because the outsides weren't threaded I just threaded the inside using a pipe plug and screwed a brass one in on this end and drilled and tapped it for 7 16 fine thread and drilled and tapped this end here for another pipe plug really doesn't matter what it's made out of as long as it's strong but inside there is a about right here there's a plunger that is made of plastic. I'll open this up and I'll show you the pieces here. The nozzle is just one with the eighth inch hole drilled in the end. The sticks come out about 150 thousandths, so it makes it a little bit bigger than the orifice or the nozzle, but it works. Okay, it's just a small pipe plug, or a small plug here. It's made out of, I think, nylon. It's got wax all over it. But there's an indent that's 7 16 The thread in the back here is 7 16 20, or 7 16 fine thread. What I'll do is I'll heat this up just a little bit to get the wax to soften inside of here. Otherwise, it's kind of a pain to get this plunger all the way in. And it's, you want it heated a little bit anyhow when you're extruding. I'm not heating it very much, just enough to um, if you hold it in your hands, that's about as warm as it's going to get which is good right about there. And that softens the wax inside that's left over and softens the rest of it. Okay. Now the wax I'm using is a 50-50 mix of beeswax and paraffin wax. It's what I had at the time and it works really well for fillets and stuff. The, I'll have to break some of them down. You just fill it as full as you can. I'm going to get rid of all these big chunks first. The wax is brown color because a friend of mine has beehives and gave me raw uh, beeswax from this hive and it wasn't perfectly clean like commercial grade so it's a little dark it's, I it works perfectly fine for this I'm using 50-50 beeswax and paraffin wax unlike originally the fillet material was just pure beeswax which the beeswax by itself is quite soft and by adding 
paraffin wax you increase the hardness a bit which helps when ramming up the molds on it but it doesn't want to move as much and you have to work it kind of warm to get it to flow into or to be able to bend it and stuff or it wants to crack on you Got a tiny little bit of shavings here from or the scrapings from the wax so I'll just put it in put the pipe plug back on and I'll heat this thing up just a little bit Snug it up. Just snug it up, heat it up very gently to the point that the steel is just warm to the touch. You don't want to get too hot, otherwise it just wants to melt and squirt out when you do the thing up. That should be good. Now I'll scoot you back here and I'll get started. Just the right temperature. The drill in the right direction. Just drive the screw in. And no, I would not use this stuff in a 3D printer. The diameter is too inconsistent. And being homemade, you might get a lot of junk from threads or something in it, from steel. Like there's a hair. Might have wood shavings or something in it from things but it doesn't matter I just wouldn't use it for a 3d printer if when you are extruding and it starts coming out white it means the temperature is a little low if it's coming out white and fuzzy you're really too low on temperature Temperature is getting a little low, but it's still good. As you can see, it's starting to turn white and fuzzy. Reverse it. Crap.
Okay. Now, drop this down, take the pipe plug off, refill it, and keep going. Battery on the drill is dying, so. And that's it. That's all of the wax extruded it into a long rope. I'm just tearing this into pieces that'll fit in the Ziploc baggie. And I'll set them off to the side to cool. But there's all of the wax chunks and everything turned to wax filament for the fillets and stuff. Now, that cleans up all the mess, cleans up all of my shavings from the scrapings and stuff. And this can go back into the toolbox. Okay, after all that time, my jar of little scrap pieces of the wax are done, are gone. All of the big ones are gone, all the little pieces and the uh, sh shavings or scrapings are gone. And all of it's turned back into nice new wax again, or wax sticks. These would be good for. Um, like lost wax for sprues or for vents and stuff and this is only 8th inch stuff here or about 150 thou because it expands a little bit as it comes out of the nozzle or out of the die so if you made it like a quarter inch you would probably get a 5 16 inch rod so it would be good for sprue wax and stuff so, it has a few uses besides just fillets. So, yeah. Alright, that's all I've got here. This is the wax extruder. It's pretty simple built. I had to switch the nut out about halfway through because I stripped the threads out. Brass didn't want to hold up for the high pressure and also I have used the living crap out of this thing in the past making tons of sprue wax or the fillet wax so yeah as you can see the stuff up here it's kind of fuzzy looking that'll just fall off it I was extruding a little too cold so and then when I went to extrude it a little warmer it or just add a little more heat into this thing it went brown again yeah that's the wax extruder and the loud mouth in the background here. Hold on, let me get him. Here's old loud mouth. So hello to the camera. Pretty sure he's got part Siamese because he never shuts up. What do you want? You just want hell today, don't you? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna call it. Thanks for watching. 
See ya.